Hey, what's up? Welcome to another video making the game Wraithbinder. And uh, lots of progress being made this week. I've got a lot of different body types now. So there's, not only is there the female character, but there's uh, or male versus female, but there's also sort of a, um, a heavier weight character, a lighter weight character, and multiply that by um, the female and male, and you've got six different basic types of characters. Um, but then there's also heights. So there's uh, like a, a giant height, there's a tall height, a medium height, small height, and a tiny height. So you combine all that, and you can get some pretty create some pretty unique characters. Like check this out. Put these two characters next to each other. You can see that my character is a lot taller than that character. In fact, uh, let's just switch really quick. Um, let's make my character um, male and tinier. What the heck am I doing? So I've currently got the female body zero. That's the athletic build. Let's go male body. Let's make my character super skinny. And we'll give him a cloak. Ah, no cloak. We got a sword. Let's go with sword one. It's a longer sword. Instead of the giant height, let's go for the tiny height. You'll see. So we're switching to a, a skinny tiny male body for the main character here. So there you go. He's tiny, skinny, but still packs a wallop. So this is pretty neat because it'll allow characters to, or players, to really customize their character. And uh, this is just barely getting started towards different um, pieces of armor and clothing and weapons and all that kind of stuff that you'll be able to uh, purchase in in this game. Um, I've got a really funny looking uh, hairstyle for this character in green right here. It's just like really weird. Sort of like a bunny's ears if they were really, really long. That's kind of funny. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much all I've been working on this week. Also, this the other neat thing here is that there's full-on transparency. Finally, I've had this in the engine for a long time to be able to do transparency, but now I've finally enabled it. So as you see, as I walk through or walk in front of this, um, well, this uh, this little upper dais above this item platform over here has this little floating thing. So if I rotate the camera, you can see that it's actually floating there above there. But if I stand if I rotate the camera to this angle right here, I'll, there's I can be obstructed by it. So now it turns semi-transparent when you're obs when it's obstructing you as the player, and then it turns back to normal solid when you're when you're out behind it. So that's also really neat. And then also if your character is uh, turns, um, let's like kill one of these guys here. And they'll turn into a wraith, and they'll become semi-transparent. And before, what would happen is that a character, when they died, um, they would not be visible if they were uh, right in front of... Um, see, so now he's semi-transparent, but he's also visible on that black background. Before, what would happen is on the black background, because they were transparent pixels, it just wouldn't look right. Um, things would really mess up, and the character wouldn't draw at all. It would sort of glitch out and you wouldn't see any of the pixels that were rendered um, on top of that black background. But now you can see him nice and clear. In fact, I needed to do a little bit more code there to make sure that uh, he's still semi-transparent. So he needs to have some of his colors reduced a bit, even though he's on a black background. You can see right there he's semi-transparent, right? This angle too, you can see he's nice and my character is fully solid. Here's his character is not quite fully solid. This will be nice when we've got wraiths playing around. Um, but when he goes against this black background right here, he's doing he's doing his pixels are solid again, and I'll need to do some code there to make sure that just looks right too. But this is pretty much um, the progress I've been making lately. 
Um, let's take a look at some of these models. Um, I've got things now so they get cached out. Um, so it doesn't have to compile, it doesn't have to procedurally animate um, the each model each time. It can actually just compile it and save it in a cache directory and then load those cached files. Like here's um, here's one of the characters, right? This is a heavier weight, looks like a giant style female. Or not giant style, but a heavier. This is a skinny guy, male character. Let's look at another one here. There's a dude with a helmet and he's heavier weight. This is pretty neat. I'm really excited to have this this whole system in place because um, it's a really it's it's just so fun to be able to customize once once the system's all finished and characters or players can go and customize their characters like really really well this is gonna be super fun these care these colors right here are really dark you see this color right here um, and I'm painting a voxel on right there that's this darker brown color actually switches into the team color. Or the, or the, you could say the highlight color that's been chosen for that character. So this actually turns into a nice saturated color inside the game. Um, but here in this model, it's been cached. It's really dark looking. But as always, it's it's how it looks in the game, not how it looks here in the in your cache or your your tools. So there you go. That's what I've been working on lately. Lots of lots of basically. Uh, coding and then exporting some files and then looking into them really in detail here in Magica going hmm how could I make this how could I make his hips a little bit better so that when it compiles this model it'll look even better in fact uh, you know this is actually looking pretty good for a compiled model right here this is really nice I probably need to make his hair a little bit lighter I noticed that in the game like uh, the hairstyles look a little bit too dark. Well, actually, they look dark for like the darker hues, like a purple will look too dark, and then a red looks really good, or an orange looks even better. But this has been pretty fun. Lots of lots of uh, satisfying progress. So, there you have it. This is what what's this one? A uh, skinnier? No, this is the the athletic build. I'm not sure which build this is of. Uh, yeah. But that's it. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and we'll be back next week with some more updates on Wraithbinder. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.